Our hometown girl Olivia Copo went from being Miss Rhode Island USA to Miss USA. She won a new crown, a new job, and a swanky new apartment. Check it out. Rhode Island's own Olivia Copo is living large as Miss USA in bustling New York City. It's so different because it's a huge city, so there's a lot more to take in when you're walking down the street. The sirens, the cars, the noise, the people. It's crazy, crazy different, but it's good. It's great. The road to the Miss USA title wasn't as glamorous as one might think. Before Miss Rhode Island, I slept past my alarm. I sat in chocolate in my white interview dress. This was before Miss Rhode Island USA, yeah. I had a dress that was for $25, too short, hole in the back. I did not feel so good, but you know, I guess it didn't look so glamorous, but I felt good, and that's what probably radiated. And before the Miss USA competition, she ran into another mishap. I got a spray tan, it was pouring rain, so I ran outside, and uh, I obviously didn't realize it was raining, but my tan, I had splotches all over myself. We were laughing so hard. I wasn't upset, but it was just, yeah. it's just funny that, you know, you never know what can happen before a big date or event, but you live and you learn. Even though the spotlight is on her now, Olivia's more grounded than ever. Even when I, after I won, I had to be pinched because I thought I was dreaming. I really thought it was a dream. You're there with 50 other beautiful girls that really, I, I think, are just as capable of carrying the title. So to think that you're chosen out of all of those girls is really just, it's hard to comprehend even now. As part of the prize, Olivia now lives across from Central Park in Manhattan. So this is my bedroom. Here is the living room. This is the dining room. What does Miss USA eat? We have a lot of good things in here. We have salmon, we have chicken, we have fruit, we have vegetables. As well as kitchen rolls. Anything that has mold or has an odor will be thrown out. I'm glad we established that rule, personally. <laughs> oh, look, my Miss Rhode Island sash hung gracefully on a nail on the wall. <laughs> so this is a nice little reminder of my roots in Rhode Island. Amongst the busy streets of New York, no, but I did allow Olivia still finds ways to fit in some quiet time. I have a few things that I brought from Rhode Island. My really special Audrey Hepburn notebook that I write everything in, and a couple other journals. Oh, post roadshow tips! Yes. Here it is! <laughs> I found it. Don't squint eyes. <laughs> She's also a bookworm. New York, the movie, Lover's Guide, and of course Audrey Hepburn's there, so I had to buy it. The 100 best things to do in New York City. And loves showing off her USA pride. If you take a look at my iPhone, my background is the First Amendment, so that's what you'll see. I'm such a geek. But for the girl who seemingly has everything, there's one thing she's without. We do not have a coffee maker. Why don't I have a coffee maker? Olivia's biggest challenge is keeping everything in perspective. It's first in honor and then a job. It's, it's a lot to take in and it's a lot of pressure from all different angles. But you just have to keep the right perspective and know that you're so lucky and always keep in mind what really matters. Well, thanks so much for Olivia for letting the roadshow come in and visit her new pad. It was beautiful and we're so excited, but more importantly, we have a big surprise for you. Yes. Because yes, we do. We you, do. Yeah, you were yes, without somebody in that surprise. apartment, so we, uh, we decided to bring along oh. our <laughs> friends at Dunkin' Donuts. Look at that. Her that you needed a coffee maker. I am the luckiest person ever. <laughs> Wait, let me just smell one of these. <laughs> You're going, yes, you have, Thank now you. have your own Every morning, I will have this. Cup. A uh, round shell picture. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Thank you so much, everyone. <laughs> the Duncan K cups. We've got oh. you covered. See, now you've oh. made it. You thought the yeah. crown was the big know, thing? You've got this. Mm -hmm. That was not the crown. Yes. <laughs> That was nothing. Thank you all so much. You're very welcome. We're happy very to uh, <laughs> represent in, in your New York apartment. Yes. <laughs> What's Dunkin' Donuts? I was just watching Kalma Salon walk in this morning, and every single one of them actually had a Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Yeah. I was like, Call that's them. That's oh, it. Yes. That's a sure. <laughs>